So I love sci-fi movies and I also love terrible movies. So I thought why not combine the two and watch terrible sci-fi movies. So today I'm watching the 1980 film Xanadu. If I'm saying that correctly, uh, all I know about it is that Olivia Newton-John is in this. So I'm very curious to see what this is all about. Honestly, I mostly only know her from Greece. That's all I really associate her name with. So I'm very curious to see what the sci-fi aspect will be about. I don't know the other cast. I don't know the plot. I don't know the director. I don't know anything like that but if you have any other suggestions for sci-fi movies you think I should watch please comment below and thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you want to have a say in what movies or tv shows I watch be sure to join patreon and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content Sounds very 80s so far. I'm excited. Yeah, Olivia Newton-John. Okay. Oh, we got a first spaceship. Okay, here we go. Gene Kelly? What? To be uh, honest, I've definitely heard his name, but I don't think I've seen any of his movies. Uh, this might be my first Gene Kelly movie. Uh, please don't hold that against me. Yes, it looks like an 80s metal band, but I doubt there will be metal music. <laughs> is that a piccolo? What is he playing by the ocean? This actor looks familiar as well, though I'm painting right now. Hmm. Tossing his dreams into the wind. Oh my. Yeah, is this based on a book or anything like that? Comment below and let me know. Paper's really going on a journey. What is bringing this painting to life? How, how, okay, sure. Oh my, quite the awakening she's having here. Oh, the whole mural's coming to life. Okay, I thought it was just her. Nope, it needs a whole cast. This is dancing their way to life. So glad to be out of this painting. It would appear so, yes. Literally opening her eyes into the world. Who choreographed this? The Muppets? Honestly. Now they're just gonna go blend into normal society with this like purple glowing orb around them. You've established that, yes? The painter's gonna be very confused when he comes back and notices that all of his uh, characters are missing. They're alive! It's alive! Oh, now they- oh, okay, I was like, where'd they go? Whoa! Tron? Is this Tron? Oh, they're lighting up the Hollywood sign. There's like blue beam of light behind them. Oh, let's run to each other on the beach. Whoa! All right, are they disappearing? Are they shooting off into space? What's happening here? Pew! Oh, just kidding, one wants to stay. He's gonna be like, you're looking a bit yellow around the edges there. It's an awkward way to meet someone. Oh, okay, just casual smooch. Hello, stranger. No need to talk first. Oh my God, that transition. Loud and clear. Yeah. Good, here, you're on your way to your next masterpiece. Get started. Was this an actual job? Like he's just taking a record cover and making a giant version of it? Oh, the fastest painter around. Hey, Sonny, I have this terrific friend. Are you interested? Not right now. It's like, that's the random girl that kissed me on the sidewalk. You mean right now? Hey, you're definitely gonna be a successful artist, Malone. You know why? Cause you're nuts. First day back on the job and he's like, you know what? I'm gonna chase down this random girl who just kissed me on the sidewalk. Come here at me. No, look to your eyes. Yeah, that's good. Listen, Sonny, I don't know who she is. Is Tommy Wiseau holding this uh, photo shoot? Oh my. Quite the spicy outfits. Around here. Oh, pretty. 
Hey, you're single, right? Let me show you my daughters. Look at that. Oh, in his wallet. He's like, hey, you want to date any of my daughters? Here, let me just casually show you. No big deal. Oh my gosh. record covers. I make album covers bigger so you can hang them outside. Oh, okay. That's what they're for. I was like, do people buy these? Whoa! Oh my god, that was insane. That reminded me of like those infomercials where people are like, have trouble opening jars. Zwoop! Woo! <laughs> You're a real well Flint kid! He sees her and then instantly just hard right bashes into the fence. Take a tip for me. What's that? Don't look out of water in here. So cheesy, oh my god. Those transitions, I hate them. Ah, so bad. Wow. He doesn't seem concerned that she's just skating in this abandoned building for no reason. Is she gonna walk at all in this movie or is it just gonna be pure skating the whole time? Just peak 80s. I don't even know anybody who still roller skates anymore. It's too coincidental. Someone must be setting this up. What do you mean? Hey, wait a minute. I didn't have anything to do. She just casually glides by. No need to stop and chat. I gotta skate. How'd you know my name? That's a great question. She's like, I know everything. She's like, you don't need to know. Oh, Kira? Okay. Right. I'll be right back. Oh my god. This what, People who like set deck desks, I always just have questions because just what is happening here? here? Pencil end up? Seems very dangerous. No, not really. Now, I've got an office. I make a lot of money. And clearly very humble. Tuesday's Wednesday. Oh my god, I can't. Whoa, what was that? I hated that. Oh my god. And I feel like roller disco and like that kind of style of stuff was mostly popular in the 70s. I don't, I don't know. Listen, I gotta go. I understand. I'll let myself out? Sure. He's like, now I got an idea. I gotta build a club. How'd that kid figure out about us? Is it gonna find out that uh, Kira's actually like hundreds of years old or something if she was on this guy's record as well? Hi. What's going on here? Just make funny faces in the mirror. Oh. How I remember. Spicy memories? Oh my, what are we doing here? No other face. Why do we have to have this scene like overlaid into the other scene? Why couldn't they just show the whole scene? We need to watch him watching this scene in his memory. I have to walk. Like, it's a reaction to his reaction, basically. So bizarre. Me, wherever wherever you go. Go. It's like, let me dance my way into this memory. Me. Oh my, just like that, all this furniture's gone. Yeah. So much room for activities. Have to close my eyes, dear. Why do they both have to be in, like, ghost mode? I know she's his memory, but why did they make him into this, like, low-opacity ghost? Oh my. Oh, just a kiss on the cheek, you know, keep it PG. Oh, he brought her back to life. Was this a play or anything that they decided to turn into a movie? I don't know nothing about this. It was all a dream. So far, like, the sci-fi elements have been pretty minimal, other than the fact that she's from a mural that suddenly came to life. That's about it. Oh, my. I wasn't expecting this many uh, musical numbers. I mean, I know Olivia Newton-John sings, but uh, I wasn't sure if she would try a different genre. I'd be so thrilled to see and I definitely expected less roller skating. I mean, maybe some, but not this much. And it's weird that like a song is playing that I'm assuming she's saying, 
but she's not singing along to it now, like they're just dancing to her own song. And now suddenly they're at the beach? What? What is going on? Cue the desert set. Oh my god. And the palm trees are just standing up on their own. Just gonna leave that alone. Yep, 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 yep. What? Suddenly these umbrellas just float down. Oh my gosh. I haven't seen Singing in the Rain, but this was not uh, the point of reference I wanted. I feel like I'd be so sick of roller skating after this movie. I'd be like, I never want to skate again. Yeah, I wonder how well this soundtrack did. Comment below and let me know. What do you think you're doing? Oh, nothing. Oh, huh. <laughs> well, well, well. I love this style of this building, but yeah, comment below if this exists, if it's on a soundstage somewhere. He's advocating for rock and roll music, but is in a disco movie. Six guys wearing electric orange. Synthesizer, heavy percussion, electric guitar. Oh my, I would definitely, that looks fun. Yes, please. Oh my. Lots of clamor. Everybody dressed. He's like, no, 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 shh, sh listen to me. We gotta go back to the 40s. He's like, I don't believe in progress. I just want to go back to how things were in the good old days. Anybody They're just having like a battle of the bands over here. We got 40s big band versus 80s electro synth. Oh my, hello sailor. I love all these like monochromatic onesies. Oh my, he's like, I hate these cables. The eyes paint on the drum kit. Big Brother is watching. So much thrusting in this one. He's using her as a guitar, a human guitar. Amazing. Pew, 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 pew. At first I thought those were really bad sideburns, but now it looks like they were trying to be like David Bowie with like the streaks across their face. Oh my, casual butt shot, no big deal. That's actually pretty cool that the two sets mix together, like it's just seamlessly going into one giant set. I mean, it's insane and over the top, but it's, it's a cool set idea. You know what two genres of music we need more of mixed together? The 40s and the 80s. Well, we argue a lot. It's like being married. We're not the good part. <laughs> oh my, I'm glad you clarified that before it got weird. I'm back in show business. Now I can't wait. I gotta look over. So yeah, Danny's side will be 40s and Sunny's side will be 80s. You get it? Yeah. Doesn't seem like a confusing uh, demographic at all. Like Boomers and the new generation. Sure, 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 sure. In Xanadu, did Kubla Khan, a stately place... Xanadu, a planet? Caverns measureless to man, down, down to, to a summer sea. sea. Yes. Hey, that's the name of the movie. I don't know. I, I was thinking... I get... Oh, I'm sorry. F forget it. We're really supposed to assume that he doesn't recognize her. She looks exactly the yeah. same. He's the one who's aged, not her. And he's supposed to be like, you know what? I can't, can't put my finger on it. I did have fond memories of us earlier. But now I can't remember where I know you from. Come on. Invited. Opening night, whatever you want, it's on the house. You know, I always wanted to say that. Opening night of what? Did you even tell them what you're doing? He just put his hand in paint. Well, that's going to ruin his denim on denim look with his popped collar. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of pop. <laughs> I do something? No. You know, I don't know anything about you. Well, I was born in a mural. Okay. That's a dead end. What's your last name? Wow. Thank you for that clarification. No questions. No questions, no lies. No questions, no truth. That's usually how it goes, yeah. You know enough about me already. Any more, you're gonna get a headache. What does he know about you, that your first name? Oh, you really? <laughs> yeah, I know. In an apartment on the second floor. <laughs> wow, really opening up. Oh, mm. 
Oh my, what's happening here? They just turned to glitter? Oh, animated. Oh, okay. Is this their PG way of showing spicy scenes? Like, if we do an animated version, the rating will be okay. It's kind of reminding me of Thumbelina, which I hate to say because I loved Thumbelina when I was little. And then they just turned into fish. Oh my god, I love it. Yes, what kind of waterfall was that? Swoop. She's like, oh, look at how cute and coy I am. Coy, get it? <laughs> fish joke. <laughs> They're like, how can we have a big, you know, musical number without having to pay our actors to actually perform? We'll have an animated sequence. Yeah, that makes total sense. Has there been any other allusions to animated features? Oh my god, they just drew a heart. Don't let it die. What happens in the animated sequence stays in the animated sequence. Oh, am I right? <laughs> First week. <laughs> so what? We're gonna celebrate at the end of every week. All right, okay. This is how he feeds his construction crew like three martini glasses and a basket of fruit. It's a fancy construction. <laughs> it's gonna be beautiful in there. Thank you. Alright, see you guys next week. Okay. He's like, I know I just gave you a bunch of alcohol, but it'd be great if you could head back and do manual labor. Glitz? Something sharp looking. You know, something with a bit of pizzazz to it. Huh. Sequins, onesies. Razzle dazzle. I gotta go get some. What do you gotta get? At a franchise a glitz, glitz dealer. dealer. <laughs> well, wherever it is. At glitz and glitz and glitz. <laughs> a franchise glitz dealer. Is this a real place? Come on. Oh my, the mannequin's gonna come to life too. <laughs> yeah, I think Danny's been the most stylish one in the whole movie so far. Oh my, is this safari leader? Okay, okay. Did we do we have to have the change room curtains be a pair of women's legs? Oh my god, these transitions are breaking my heart. So many colors. Oh, that's a fun suit. It's a fashion montage. Here we go. Whoa! There's a- oh my! Giddy up. It's a fashion montage. Oh, and of course they've got to skate their way out. Yeah, that makes sense. Every good 80s movie has a montage. Oh my, it's giving me very uh, Big Lebowski vibes. I'm glad fashion has mostly changed since the 80s. There's a lot of things that are hurting my eyes. Whoa! They're also brought to life. The girls were on the shelf. Oh my gosh. And there's also a carousel in this uh, department store. Oh, it's a clothing rack. I was like, what are we doing? This is abusing my eyes. They're like, how can we make this the most extreme? Extra color saturated glow effects bunk. Whoa! It's like someone got photoshopped for the first time and they're just testing out all the different effects. It is 1945 all over again. Does he finally remember her? No, I have to tell you, I have no choice. All I was sent to do was to make Xanadu happen. She was sent to just have this club be created? I'm serious. I come from Mount Helicon. I'm the daughter. Oh. I have eight sisters. My real name is to. Does Hercules know about this? Believe me. Look up the word muse in the dictionary. Go on. Page 728. So we're supposed to believe that she came back just to set up a dance club. Presiding over song and poetry and the arts and sciences. And do you believe me now, Sonny? <laughs> It says it in the book. Oh my god, that's the first like funny thing that's happened so far. Sonny, dive at him or um, make a martini. What? Who are you talking to? Hey, that's his name. Brenda. Kira. Sonny. 
He's like interacting with this movie. What? It's, a drink. it's okay. I'll take care of it. Thanks. Good luck on the opening. Of like, you know what'll help explain this weird situation? Having an old timey movie that talks to him directly through the screen that I'm also in. Seems extra, you know, taunting just to say how much she loves him, but that they can never be together and that she's not supposed to have feelings and, you know, sh bye. Am I going to say anything about my new threads? Hubba hubba. Not the response I was expecting, but okay. Somehow, somewhere, there's a way to get her. If she got here, there's a way to get there. Oh, we're going to do some space travel casually. Okay. It's, it's up to you. He's like, do you happen to know any ways to come in contact with Greek goddesses? Because that would be very helpful right now. It's like, I need to skate out my problems. No one understands me. Oh, the mural! It seems very out of place, but okay, here we go, yeah. If he walks through that wall, I will lose my mind. He's like, this is where you live with your sisters in this painting. Sure, sure, sure. It all makes sense. Yeah. Just full speed ahead, bud. See what you can do. Yeah, they made like this 80s neon version of like the Acropolis or something. Yes, I knew it. He's going to run into this wall. What a goof. Oh, and... Whoa! <laughs> Yes! I love it. Oh my god. Platform nine and three quarters? No, uh, bad 80s mural. Did he fall into the upside down? Oh my, what's happening here? What? Oh, please. He took a big chance coming here. What's going on? Wow, he's turning into one of them. I'll make him let you go. Hey, Zeus! Zeus, you hear me? That should go well. Meeting the father, okay. Everything. All right, then. You know this. I'm sticking to this place till hell freezes over. He's like, we can make that happen. Enough. You're leaving, Kara's staying. No more discussions. Those are the rules, and that's all there is. She's like, my dad won't let me go. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey. Kira? Just one moment. Goodbye. She doesn't even want to leave for good. She just wants to leave for the night opening of the club. Oh, bye, Sonny. I think this is the first time we've seen her sing her own song instead of it just playing in the background. Is she asking him to stop time for her? Oh my. See, I got a lot on my plate right now. I'm opening the club. I'm trying to deal with your father. And <laughs> just drops her out of frame. <laughs> oh man. Oh, is this gonna be the club? Are we gonna get to see it finally? Oh, bowling pin toss. All right, here we some mimes. Sure, I feel like we're uh, always juggling. Okay. Oh, and they put him on skates. Yes. Everybody. This club's going to be a mess. I love the light up racetrack they got on the floor, though. That's fun. Like on the airplane, you know, to tell you where the exits are. This is going to tell you where to dance. What do you want over here? I don't know. I'm thinking a wall of mirrors. What do you want over here? Uh, clown juggler or bowling pin jugglers. <laughs> Do you want roller skates? Yes, yes, all the roller skates. Yes, it'd be an easy song to remember. It's got one word, so. All these like different just groups of dancers. Like while well, we've got our 50s pinstripe crew. There's so many extras. This would have been a nightmare to coordinate. Oh god, they're all skating past the camera. Oh god, you- This must have taken forever to film. Or there's just like mistakes everywhere and nobody cares. They're like, whatever, there's too many things going on, no one will notice anyway. I can't keep saying that's the name of the movie. It would be like the 90th time at this point. The song's only lyrics are Xanadu. Oh! oh, here we go. Yeah, she gets her big solo to finish. To 
She's like, but tomorrow I'll have to go back and hide out and we'll never see each other. We are in Xanadu. I was secretly hoping Xanadu was like a name of like a space planet or something cool. If someone was like, do you want to go to Club Xanadu? I'd be like, I, that, may, that means nothing to me. I wonder what the next words will be. Oh my God, I had no idea. I never saw that coming. Just blew my mind. Oh God. No, thank you, sir. That's gonna crack a skull. What was the movie called? <laughs> She's the muse, but also the lead singer. Oh my. I'm sure I should pass a lonely. What is happening with this movie? She's just like, we gotta knock off every genre, every possible style of music. I went from like safari, now I am like country and western look. There's me and my deputies to shake the day. Why not just, what kind of club would cater to this many different styles? And then they're just like the quick zoom in on the X every time they wanted to do a scene change. So much effort went to making something so much, so bad, so much bad. I can't even talk anymore. My brain is melted from all these random costume changes. Is she queen of Xanadu now? With her tinfoil dress. And Sonny's like done nothing. He's just stood there and watched her sing this song for the past 10 minutes. If you were unsure of what this movie was called, this song would help you remember. She shows up at the club, doesn't even like say hi to him, just breaks out into song and dance, and then leaves. And then they'll never see him again because she's just got to be a muse for people. She's not meant to actually like be involved. It's like, but I made these dope jackets, so. I'd just like to talk to you. What? So she's staying or he doesn't recognize her now? What? Oh my god, so weird. What the frick is this, man? The rest of them are just getting Muse 1 through 8. <laughs> Don Bluth, the animated sequence? That makes sense. Because I feel like Thumbelina was also Don Bluth. Just like a hundred different dancers. I'm gonna have this song stuck in my head now. Frick. So that was my first time watching the 1980 film Xanadu starring Olivia Newton-John and Gene Kelly, which I definitely need to watch more of his films as well. I recognize his name, but I haven't seen, I don't think any of his movies except for this one. So I definitely need to catch up on his films. I wish there was more sci-fi elements involved. The only real tie-in was this like Greek mythology that she was a muse and that's why she had been sent down to help Sunny open this club. We didn't get to hear her say what her actual goddess name was but I'm assuming she is a muse of songwriting or music or something like that so it was definitely interesting it definitely felt more like a romantic comedy roller disco musical situation I was hoping Olivia Newton-John would do something different I've seen her in Greece and I knew she could sing and dance and all of those things so to see her do something that felt so similar and I feel like Greece came out in 77 78 maybe something like that so I feel like this was not long after She's obviously a very talented singer and dancer, but again, when as soon as I heard sci-fi, I was thinking it would be, you know, on a different planet, or even when they mentioned the name Xanadu, I was thinking, oh, that'll be the name of some planet, not the name of a nightclub. It was definitely super 80s, super cheesy, super over the top. The actor who played Sonny, I recognize him, but I can't place it right now, so comment below where would I know him from. I didn't find his acting terribly convincing. He just needed to be a love interest for Olivia Newton-John. That's what it felt like. 
like he was just there to perpetuate this love story storyline. And we don't really know much about his backstory other than that he's a painter who's tried to go freelance and hates his job and, you know, he's in need of inspiration when he rips up his painting and gives up on his dreams basically and goes back to the job he hates. And that's what brings Kira to life basically. She's like, oh, you need a muse, you need some inspiration. I'll pop out of my mural and we'll go start opening a club. Although I'm not sure what opening a club has to do with his painting career. I know he was painting album covers, but still he wasn't a musician that we know of. He wasn't in a band. He wasn't performing as we saw in that very long 10 minute end sequence where Kira is just singing 20 different styles of music for the entire third act. And he's just from the audience like nodding and smiling and watching. And I wasn't expecting an animated sequence by Don Bluth. I love Don Bluth movies. So I was excited about that element, but it just didn't really fit the rest of the movie. It was just out of nowhere. I don't know if they just ran out of money to actually have the cast film things or if this was a last minute addition. They're like, well, we want to add this scene in, but we've already finished filming, so we'll make it animated. I Yeah, comment below. I have no idea, but it definitely felt out of place and they're changing between fish and birds and all these, you know, cute little animated creatures. I feel like the target audience for this movie definitely would have been people who enjoy musicals and dancing and stuff like that. It definitely felt like a PG movie. We didn't have anything super spicy. Some of the outfits were interesting, but that was basically it. And there was no swearing or anything like that. I'm not sure what the budget for this would have been. I feel like having Olivia Newton-John cast at this time in history probably would have been a big chunk of the budget, but minimal cast and Gene Kelly also would have been probably pretty hefty paycheck. For sets, I feel like the club was the biggest, most elaborate set. It definitely looked very expensive and we have that big reveal and having all those extras there who were dancing and, you know, being a part of the background, just a huge, huge final number. I'm not sure how this did at the box office or the soundtrack or anything like that, so comment below and let me know. I know this came out a while ago, so I'm not sure if there are sequels, remakes, anything like that. Comment below if you think I should watch those. I like musicals, but this just kind of missed the mark for me. Some parts definitely felt really slow and boring and musicals are supposed to help tell the story through music. This was just kind of, okay, we need a song now, so we're going to do a song. And I just didn't really... It didn't feel like it was helping tell the story. And we're gonna have 80s music versus 40s music. And the two of them have like this battle of the band situation. And I didn't realize their club was going to cater to so many genres. It just seemed to just be a mess of ideas. And even when Danny's like, I've never had a partner before. And it was just like, okay, well, you're not thinking of a plan. You're just putting in everything you love into one club and calling it Xanadu. I feel like they came up with this plan for this movie because like, oh, Olivia Newton-John can sing. Let's have her on this movie but didn't focus so much on the rest of the plot or the story. I'm assuming Sunny and Kira will now be together in whatever universe this is now in Xanadu and that song at the end will definitely be stuck in my head for forever. The fact that Danny didn't recognize Kira, I was like, okay, that seems a bit strange considering they were in a band together and she looks literally the same. He's the one who aged so she wouldn't recognize him. I wish we would have seen more of Zeus and that whole scene instead of it just being like very 80s with those like colored bars along the bottom and just the booming voices overhead. I wish we would have gotten to see like their version of like Mount Olympus or you know something to that effect. It was just very stark and just like they wanted to keep it very minimal and 80s which was an interesting approach but from like a sci-fi perspective I kind of wanted to see more of that world. Definitely minimal sci-fi elements like I said and the fact that Kira had like this glowing orb around her the entire time that no Nobody else really seemed to notice and she could just like blast off on her roller skates into space and nobody seemed concerned like she's in a very crowded place nobody's like what the heck is this thing just definitely some questionable plot lines. If Kira is deciding to stay on Earth or her dad is letting her stay, it sounded like he was basically letting her out for this one night. Sunny seemed okay with this plan that Kira is in fact a Greek goddess and it just felt so weird to have it, the story be told through a dictionary that has his name in it and also through this old-timey black and white movie that's like 
live basically and is interacting with him and when he has a question you know it answers and she's talking to it just it was already a weird situation why would you think this would help explain things like it's just so bizarre and the concept of muses not having feelings but obviously we see that changes very quickly as Kira develops feelings for Sunny. I feel like if you love Olivia Newton-John and you love 80s music this would be a fun movie to have on in the background where you're not really paying attention to what's going on because it doesn't matter and you're just kind of like listening to the songs like maybe this is like a movie you put on while you clean your house or something and we have that fun 80s montage scene where Danny's trying on all the different outfits as he needs a new look for this club opening and maybe if you would have watched it in the 80s or when it first came out with that like wow this fashion so many trends and now watching it obviously years later we kind of make fun of it just because we get to see all the trends that were very distinct to the 80s and have now since faded out or maybe some of them have come back but just like all those really bright colors and how the mannequins came to life and they had those shots of the people with like really bright makeup and colored mohawks just jumping around the place and then we have Danny just like trying and like trying to fit in it felt like someone who takes like their grandpa shopping for the first time and it's like making him trying to wear like the newest trends and even Danny's like oh I haven't opened a club since 1945 you know like sure now seems like a good time to get back into this game and then having his partner be someone who was you know the younger generation at that time and the two of them collaborating the songs weren't particularly my style of music but yeah I'm curious to find out how well they did especially with musicals sometimes the soundtrack does better than the movie or vice versa so yeah comment below and let me know I hated those trends transitions they were so overdone and just so intense and it's just now we're used to just having jump cuts jump cuts are pretty standard I think the only movie that I still currently watch that has transitions is older movies and Star Wars has that wipe that is so notorious with that series as well I believe it's called like Venetian blinds is the name of the transition where it's like all the different bars and then they all like flip up and some of them were just like star wipes and just circles and just so overdone and it just really takes takes the viewer out of the experience. And I've seen a decent amount of 80s movies, but I don't remember a movie where there were so many transitions for every scene. Like it wasn't like, okay, it's been 20 minutes, let's add in a fun transition. It was like every time there was a cut, they added in those transitions and it was just so weird. Maybe it was, maybe I just haven't seen the other 80s movies that have those in them. But, and again, obviously I'm used to watching newer movies as well. So it definitely felt bizarre. Overall, I would definitely consider this a It's So Bad It's Good movie. I don't know that I would watch it again, but it was definitely entertaining. Lots of 80s things happening, with all the bright colors and the music. And it was interesting to see Olivia Newton-John in a different movie and Gene Kelly. Like I said, I definitely need to watch more of his movies, but the whole thing just felt like a bit of a mess from the plot but I love bad movies so it was just curious to see where it was gonna go what was gonna happen I didn't realize obviously she was gonna become this Greek goddess that's how she was brought to life through this you know magical mural but thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me if you have any other suggestions for sci-fi movies you think I should watch please comment below and as always please like comment and subscribe to this channel and check back often for more awesome content Oh, the whole mural's coming to life. Now they're just gonna go blend into normal society with this like purple glowing orb around them. He's advocating for rock and roll music, but is in a disco movie. What kind of waterfall was that? A franchise glitz dealer. So we're supposed to believe that she came back just to set up a dance club. If he walks through that wall, I will lose my mind.